Hi everyone, it's Graham from Dent Detail. Today we're going to remove this dent from this Tesla Model 3. Um, small little sharp dent on the back of the rear door, driver's side. It's got a little uh, scratch that's in the centre of the dent, but uh, it's not going to stop us removing it. Um, these panels are aluminium. Uh, the brake water's there, as you can see, magnetic, so that tells us it's steel. And we put it on the rear door, it doesn't stick, so we know the panel's aluminium. Um, we can still repair it. Aluminiums, you've got to repair it a different way, you've got to get heat on it. Um, slightly different approach, but we can do it. So, how are we going to get to the dent? On most normal cars, you can go down the window. Um, Tesla's, you can't, it's fully boxed off at the top. Uh, so, blind the window down, going that way is not going to work. Uh, real good access point on these, both rear doors and the front doors, is through the locking latch down here. So, you can take out the torque screws and the locking latch slides down out of the way and you can get up and underneath the brace rather than going down the window which is inaccessible so this way is a really good uh, tricky little way to get through what I'm doing here is putting tested tape over the edge of the panel once we've got the tool in there sometimes you can mark the paint putting this over the top it just simply protects that as always we'll use the LED light board to light up the damaged area so once we push the material from the side we can uh, basically see what we're doing with it. Next we're going to set up a heat gun so as we said it's an aluminium panel it's really cold today you can see the breath the steam coming from the breath there. Um, aluminium we need to get it hot we need to be working around 25-30 degrees it just makes the metal pliable if you're pushing it cold you're going to spike it it's not going to cooperate with you again it heat brings it up to temperature and um, helps the repair so tool wise what i'm going to use here is a stand liner triple bend as you can see it's hooked so where this dent is above the brace once we're coming up from up and underneath it the hooked end of that tool will reach pretty much bang on where we've got to be um, so it's still awkward to get to, you've got to come up outwards and then back round on the inside of the brace. It's a tricky one but we can definitely get there. So we've done plenty of these type of dents, both front doors, rear doors. Once you're in there you can work it really nice. It doesn't need too much pressure because the brace is quite tight to the outer skin. But um, having the right tool for this kind of job is imperative. You can normally get through with a whale tail as well in some areas. Um, yeah, you can see the metal flexing if you zoom in there. You can actually see the, the lines pinching, so that's why we use the light board. You can see where the end of the tool is to uh, fix the dent. After that, knocking down. So once you push up, you've got to knock it back down flat. Small sharp dents like this, when you've got to open it up and work it, you're going to end up with a few little line spots. There's nothing you can't sort out. You need to do it sometimes, so as long as you knock it down accurately and cleanly, um, it'll help the repair come out really nice. From here onwards, we back and forth in between pushing and knocking down probably four, five, six times getting it as, as good as we can do, it's uh, the repetitive process that gets us the uh, right results. You can see here, dents all out, come out really nice, really clean it. We're zooming in, you can see the scratch when it pans across the light there. Um, it does look deep, but we know we can flatten this down. Um, the lack is not too bad on Tesla, so we've got a bit to work with. Before we do that, get the latch back in place, just the torque screws, hook it back in, fits in really nicely, it's no, no real big job to do that. Um, you can see now what we're doing is flatten it down with some 3000s uh, grade flatting paper. You can see the orange peel and you can see sort of the depth of the scratch there. We'd probably give it one, two flaps, polished it up and uh, there's the final result. So you pan across that, really nice clean finish. No remains of a scratch, no remains of the dent. Um, shows, even though sometimes they do look deep, they can come out really nicely. A quick final check with the LED light bulb, make sure there's no imperfections, no ripples, and you see that it's uh, come out really nicely. So, um, aluminium dents, you can see, right approach, come out really nice. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it.